Hi, in this video, I am going to attempt to open the Tesla mobile connector charger. Um, I've been using this charger for about three years and to charge my Model S. Um, it has recently stopped working. Um, when I plug it into the 110 volt, it doesn't do anything. There is no um, indicator that is anything is wrong. It, it just shows a green LED, which means that it's acting normal or working normally. But when I pl uh, plug it into the car, it doesn't charge anything. Um, when I plug it into the NEMA connector for 240 volt, um, it actually uh, shows red LED here, it flashes five times, stops for a little bit, and then flashes another five times. Um, not sure why, it just breaks, uh, or just broke. Um, probably because I'm abusing it, obviously. This is supposed to be a uh, use uh, when you're on a road trip and uh, you have, uh, you're charging uh, not at home and uh, that's uh, that's why Tesla put this in in the bag um, To be put in your trunk uh, of the car when you're traveling So this comes uh, th this came with the car anyhow um, So mine broke and um, I, I got the uh, Tesla wall connector to replace this and uh, it's currently um, working um, and charging my car again, so um, I don't know what to do with this. I guess uh, I'm gonna attempt to try to open it. Um, maybe I'll get lucky if there's anything that's uh, in there that needs to be replaced or can be replaced by um, an amateur do-it-yourselfer like myself, then I'll get pretty lucky. But if not, then uh, it'll just be a video showing the inside. Uh, of a Tesla, Tesla mobile connector and uh, we will have fun um, throughout the process. All right, let's, let's get started. Okay, I got the rubber <coughs> protective material out and uh, as you can see it's just glued so you um, just need to get a good screwdriver or um, some prying tool to um, remove kind of pry off from the glue and then you can get the uh, the protective boot here uh, off um, I can't get it off this way and uh, so I'm just gonna uh, push it down for now get it out of the way and try to figure out how to uh, Open this thing now next Okay, I got the um, all stickers, uh, decals, everything that um, can hide a screw hole where I can unscrew a screw, etc. has been removed and I don't see any screw at all, um, which means that this thing is designed in such a way that it just snap on and it's not supposed to, uh, to be serviced anymore or something. Pretty disappointing, but um, I guess I'm gonna try to um, pry it open from from this side right here and see if I can um, take it apart. Okay, we got it open and 
so basically um, I was right the the entire front is or has been glued um, there's no screw it's just been glued shut which was crazy so to open it uh, you just simply have to pry um, as carefully as possible um, I hope I didn't damage any of these uh, electronics here because um, I did not know that they are here so there are electronics basically on this side on the right hand side towards uh, well it's actually all through the right hand side right here so when you're prying on the right hand side just be very careful because you have a lot of surface mount resistors and chips and things like that that, that uh, I could have um, basically jabbed and and damage but I did not know that they were there all right so now that I'm inside here um, these are um, Torx screws and um, I'm gonna try to get them removed so I can remove this top circuit board um, initial view or observation I don't see anything burned, anything that, that I can probably surface uh, or anything that I can think of that is causing it not to work. So upon initial observation, I don't see anything that I can do. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to the next step, which is uh, try to remove this uh, board right here and uh, see if I can um, see anything that, it, that needs to be fixed. Okay, I have uh, observed um, the top part of all the components here and I don't really understand what all these components are for, obviously, but I do see, I, I only noticed one thing that is odd. There's a yellow cable here that is not attached to anything. It just kind of cut and it doesn't really go anywhere. And it may, that may not mean anything. Uh, that it may not be something that is being used, but uh, it just seems to be strange to have that yellow cable just there. So, since I didn't find anything that is wrong, I'm gonna continue disassembling parts. Um, and uh, hopefully I can actually even lift up the, uh, the bottom board and, and flip it over to see if there's anything wrong that I see there. Okay, I got the um, the main circuit board removed and um, I can see this is where the reset button is right here at the bottom, it's very small and all the components seems to be coated with uh, kind of like a clear coat material, like a varnish and they all look pretty good <clears throat> doesn't seem like there's anything burning or burnt here um, not sure what is inside this thing right here and what is inside this big thing here <clears throat> looks like this is probably a relay I would imagine Porter Bromfield there's a model number, there's a whole bunch of voltages here. This could be either a step down transformer in here or it could be a relay. And uh, this right here could be a contactor. I'm not sure. Um, I don't see anything wrong other than possibly going deeper inside if any of these things are actually broken but as far as the components that I see it between this component here that I just removed and the circuit breaker here I mean not circuit breaker the circuit board I don't see anything wrong I don't see any parts burnt
we removed everything and that yellow cable that I'm talking about that doesn't connect to anything is right here there's a yellow cable that doesn't connect to anything uh, I'm assuming that's probably normal so these are uh, this is the, uh, the, the the part that goes to the car this is the part that goes to the wall seems to be all pretty standard okay I'm not sure what else to do here other than trying to open this device to see if there's anything in there that is wrong but to open this or this I would probably need to um, saw it off or cut it up right here on the top to see what's inside. Um, this one is pretty easy to desolder, whatever this is, but this one is going to be pretty hard. Yeah. Not sure what to do next. It's been a couple of weeks um, that I've been thinking about what to do with this uh, Tesla mobile charger. Um, I'm, I'm able to fix it. I cannot find what's wrong with it, um, what to replace, etc. So right now this is just paperweight. Um, I'm not sure what to do with any of these things other than using it for parts. So. I think this is what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to cut this off or yeah, cut it off so that I can use this, uh, this side of the cable uh, which is probably about, I think it's at, at least 12 feet long, yeah, so high quality uh, um, electrical cable. And then the, this side right here I cannot use at all. Uh, no, nobody wants to buy that. Um, these plugs here, actually, I can sell on eBay, and uh, they're still going for some good amount. So that's uh, what happened to the to the fate of this particular mobile connector. Um, yeah, I'm not not sure what happened to it. It just um, all of a sudden stopped working one day and um, this is the fate it just is uh, it's going to become uh, trash uh, mostly trash and uh, um, just the cables and the connectors uh, I can use for parts thank you for watching um, Sorry for the lengthy video and um, and and not so happy ending. And uh, hopefully um, this is a, a good video, maybe to help somebody decide whether they want to open up their mobile connector if it's broken. Um, it certainly has not been a rewarding experience for me. Um, if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel as I create. Um, content like these uh, trying to be helpful and uh, useful for somebody and um, you have a good day thank you thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do it yourself